a good day. This is the portion of study kinematics from the PSI mechanics unit, uh, subset kinematics. Again, we're going to look at the first chapter, motion in one dimension in this unit of study. What we'll start off uh, by doing is to talk about some basic terms that will be used and we'll gain a basic understanding of how these terms are related to one another and then apply them to some problem solving strategies. The first unit or the first term that we'll study is something called distance. It's difficult to describe. Often we'll use the concept of distance or when we were asked how far something is away from our home, let's say the shopping mall, our friends may say, oh, it's about a half hour or the grocery store is about five minutes away. Um, really, we're describing time when we, when we come up and describe how far things are in, in those manners. Uh, but we have to be careful. In physics, Distance is simply the space well, or the length between two points, if you want to call it that. And if you look at this sign, Boston would be to the left of our location. So might be, oh, about 34 miles or 54 kilometers to the right. Uh, Coney Island is 7,000 miles away. Death Valley is about, so oh, about 7,000 miles away too. And then finally, Decatur is about 9,000 miles in the opposite direction. But when we talk about distance, we're talk about how far something is away from some other location. Uh, when we describe distances, we don't use kilometers or miles or feet. In physics, in this unit of study, we're going to use the concept of the meter or the basic unit of the meter. It's a universal standard in physics, and we will use the meter when describing the distance between two points. Uh, if you look at this meter stick, and again, uh, we're going to use the meter as our standard for measurement, the distance between the edge of the meter stick, the left edge, and let's say the 20 centimeter mark is the distance, and distance, the symbol for distance that we use is D. The unit for distance is the meter, so the distance is equal to 0 0.02 meters in, in this case. Time is another basic quantity that we'll use when we're describing phenomena in physics. And uh, it's difficult to describe what time is. We know that time marches on. That's inevitable. <laughs> and uh, when we use time frequently in order to measure performance, let's say uh, if we're measuring times, we measure, use times to measure you know, performance as to how far people go when we're racing. It, it is a fundamental aspect of nature as stated in the slides. Uh, if we're measuring the time it takes to, or the performance of a runner, uh, it may take them 60 seconds to run around the track and we'll judge their performance with that. The basic standard for time is the second and the symbol that we use is T. So in this case, the time required for this second hand to sweep through that red uh, arrow would be about 10 seconds, so t is equal to time, that's the symbol, and seconds are the units, so s is the symbol, or the unit symbol, excuse me, the symbol for seconds.